It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Indianapolis Colts and the Baltimore Ravens. And it's all just ahead on Madden NFL 24. EA Sports coverage of the NFL on this fine afternoon brings us to historic Baltimore, Maryland and m and Bank Stadium. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one as it'll be the Indianapolis Colts taking on the Baltimore Ravens. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. At CD, it was a bit of a hectic offseason for the Ravens. The questions at quarterback, they went all the way till draft night. But in the end, Lamar Jackson is back, and these folks in Maryland, they couldn't be happier. No, they couldn't, and listen, they'll take a hectic offseason if it ends this way. Lamar Jackson back, taking every snap for their Baltimore Ravens. Brand new offensive coordinator. Don't be surprised if the ball's in the air a little bit more than what we've seen in the past. And meanwhile, for the Colts, it's been a pretty hard fall the last couple of years. From 11 wins in 2020 to just four a season ago, how do they get back on the right path? I think they've started back on the right path with the change in the coaching staff, but a lot of it, players already on the roster playing back to the levels we've seen before. They left in the middle of a cold night in 1984, but the Colts are back and we're underway in Baltimore. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. So here come the Colts to take over for the first time and leading the way as the number four pick in the draft out of Florida, here's Anthony Richardson. The moment Anthony Richardson's name was announced as the fourth pick in the 2023 draft, it changed the landscape and probably our viewing habits with the NFL. He is must-see viewing. Tremendous athlete, not a lot of experience, but the ceiling as high as it possibly can be. They'll run with a former Bill, Zach Moss. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Richardson now on second down. That's complete to Pierce. So the completion good for just three. And third and eight now. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. On third down, here's Richardson. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. That was the first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. To punt on fourth down, here's Rigoberto Sanchez. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and the Ravens, they'll take over. The Ravens offense set to go to work, and it's Lamar Jackson now at his sixth NFL campaign who will lead the way. All the talk of Jackson leaving the Ravens this offseason was just that. Talk as the two sides hammered out a deal that made him the highest paid player in the NFL. And why would they want to separate? When he has the ball in his hands, great things typically happen. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at their own 42. They'll run with Edwards here to begin the drive. And he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. And result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game. Or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. 
They'll bring the tight end in motion right here. Here's Edwards again on second down. And a loose football. And the Colts pick it up. And they'll take over inside the 45 at the 44-yard line. And a little careless there, Charles, on that carry. And it's not just having two hands on the ball. It's tucking it away. It's using your body to keep people shielded off. It's so many different things into taking care of it and having ball security. In that case, though, we didn't see it happen. Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not gonna be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. Say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. Now Jackson. And that is incomplete. Well, I'm quite sure that they envisioned a much better start to this game when they practiced all week. But they failed on that third down play. That brings up fourth down, and they'll probably have to punt it away. Jordan Facing fourth down, Baltimore will punt. Jordan Stout out there. Back deep for the Colts, Isaiah McKenzie. And that is very well done there, as this will be marked out of bounds at the five-yard line. Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? On first down, Richardson. Isaiah McKenzie hauling it in. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Now a second and two. Now Richardson, he's going to keep it running right. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't, and at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage, so they didn't lose anything, but you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. They'll try and run for this with Moss, and they're going to get the first down here across the 15-yard line third and two right so this is a situation where low man has got to win at the line of scrimmage but it's not just the low man winning it's the low man who's winning with some force and they had that to pick up the first down barely picking it up but they did first down they stay with Moss on the ground nice his way forward here but just three yards on the play second down well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. On second down, it's Richardson to throw it. He finds his man complete. It's Moss, and he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. A 14-yard gain for Indianapolis and also move the sticks. So, Charles, yeah, take nothing away from this young man under center because I know people think he's got a very bright future in this league, but I have to figure the defensive coordinators love the thought of squaring off against a rookie quarterback. And especially if they have guys they can put together a game plan with that's going to confuse, disguise a lot of coverage, 
make this kid think a little bit because in college he's seen a lot of things let's let's not get it wrong here but at the same time in the nfl you can do so much more because of the athletes you have because of their football iq and don't forget you're gonna throw a couple extra rushers at him as well see if he can handle the pressure when those guys come at him They'll go again here with Moss. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Two straight four-yard runs, and it is steadily working the ball downfield. To me, they're staying right on schedule. First down, you want four yards or more to set up the rest of the drive. They're getting exactly that. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. On third down, it's Richardson. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. And that's exactly what defense is talking about. You've got to find ways to get off the field when you can, especially on third down. And third down defense going to be vital in this game. Able to knock that one away and force a fourth down. As Sanchez on to punt here as he sends this one away. 42-yard punt, six on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good, three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. And let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit Sometimes better. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That too. <laughs> the drive starts with a carry by Edwards. And he'll be brought down here at the 28. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And he's going to have a Ravens first down as he'll take this up to about the 33-yard line. Great to see Edwards back doing what he does best. Mr. Dependable for the Ravens backfield. He's faced injury woes the last two years, missing all of 2021 and almost half of 2022. But back at full strength now, he can be a load. Jackson on first down. He finds the rookie, Zay Flowers. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. Barney, you know when we call a game, we talk about Lamar Jackson and his speed, his elusiveness, and the ability to get him on the ground, how tough that is for a defense. But how about his development as a thrower, as a professional? They run on first down, but it only produces a gain of two. It's second down now. Offense looked a little bit discouraged after that play, shaking their heads a bit, looking at each other. I think they thought they'd get a lot more out of that call. Sometimes you do get the running lane you want, and other times, the defensive front, they just break up the play before it can get going. Now Jackson taps this forward, jet sweep. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. Here comes third down at seven. Throwing is Jackson. Uh, he had a man on. Open, but he missed him and it's incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. Fourth down, and out comes Jordan Stout near to punt. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. And the Colts now, they're ready to get the football back. And partner, I know so far, and we're still in the first half, but you love this game as a defensive guy. Zero to zero. We'll see if the offense can get going on this drive. But well, you know how they talk about music to your ears? 
How about what it does for your eyes when you watch something like this, right, where these teams are locked in and going at it, no points going up on the scoreboard. I'm loving it. You're exactly right. Well, switch over, though, to an offensive mindset for a moment. What do they need to do here to get on track and get some points? Well, I think a couple of ways. Number one, you pull out something that maybe they haven't seen before. Coaches always talk about unscouted looks. Maybe you give them something that they haven't seen on tape, and now you shock them that way. The second, run your basic playbook, but run it so well that you give your skill position guys a chance to make big plays individually. They'll run on first down with Moss. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. From the 44 now, here's second and four. Right back to Moss. Yeah, he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll run out of the gun with Moss. And down inside the 35, he goes to the 32-yard line. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. On second down, here's a run with Moss. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave him seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Now it's Richardson. And this pass broken up. Now the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. So they'll say no to the 50-yard field goal try. Instead, the offense out there, they're going for it. Going for it on fourth, here's Richardson. Able to find the open man, that's complete. And he is going to have a Colts first down, and he'll have it by plenty as it turns out to be a big gainer there on fourth down. And that's a big pickup of a first down. And you know that all week, both sides of the ball, offense and defense, are going through every situation. And in this case, the offensive guys had the right play dialed up because defensively, you work on fourth down situations as well. And deflating for the defense, they can't get the stop here. First and 10, Richardson looks to throw it. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. We're scoreless after one. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Colts in possession as they've got it second and seven. Second down, here's Richardson. Now he's got his target. It's caught for a Colts touchdown. Josh Downs from eight yards out, and the Colts post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Well, with this rookie QB, we talk a lot about his ball placement and how good he can be at laying it right in there. I think we just saw... And now, before we get to the extra point, remember, all touchdowns do have to be confirmed by the replay official. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. 
How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review. So they had it right. Matt Gay on for the extra point. And this is good to make it 7 0 Indy. That time, a nine play drive. And the result for the Colts is a touchdown. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. We'll see if they can do better here on this drive. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at the 20. They'll start by running the option to the right. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. It looked like almost a miscommunication defensively because once he decided to keep it, he had pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, it became a question of, wait a minute, who's got the quarterback? And when you talk about miscommunication, it's supposed to be called assignment football on the defensive side of the ball, but the assignment gets mixed up. That's the end result. Edwards now on first and 10. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Good yardage there on first down, exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. From the 46, here's second and two. Jackson options out left. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. An excellent run of 22 yards on the keeper and also a first down. Very nice play here. They go read option, read the defensive end, and when he claps down inside, how about the quarterback pulling it, keeping it, and not only getting to the second level, but picking up some really nice yardage. Very, very well read. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. And Jackson going to run again. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. Well, now, after all of this, hang on here because he appears to be shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Off the option, here's Edwards. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Back-to-back two-yard losses, and that sets up a tough third and 14. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Couple of plays sent them the wrong way, and now they face a third and 14. And now the first throw for the backup quarterback. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. And the Colts pick it up. And they are going to score on the fumble return. Touchdown, Indianapolis. 
huge, huge play by the defense, not only to force the fumble, obviously, but to return it for a touchdown. And I know it's no fun for anyone who plays offense, but isn't it fun to see how a defense rallies when there's a fumble return and everyone tries to find someone to block and bring it all the way home? I always like their celebrations because they don't get there that often. No, they're not choreographed very well, usually. <laughs> Gay is on for the point after. And it's good to make it 14-0. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. Devin Duvernay now returning from the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. And he's got room, and they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 49 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Huntley working from the gun. This is intercepted. Picked off by Kenny Moore. And the return across midfield and to the 46-yard line. Boy, that one was in the air for an agonizingly long time. Ah, uh, just begging to be picked off, wasn't it? It's one thing if you're throwing a ball like that, trying to throw someone open or lead them into an area. But that ball needed to be thrown with a lot more conviction. As a result, it's an easy interception. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. And it's been a good first half so far. They're up 14 to nothing. Points here that could really put them in command before intermission. Yeah, and it's all well and good what they're seeing and how they're feeling right now. But it's the NFL. How many times have we watched 14 to nothing leads evaporate and quickly? Mm. So how do we have we seen them combat it? Continue to run your offense, but don't back off at all. Don't start looking at the clock. Don't start thinking about, hey, just take care of the football. Keep attacking. Usually the best way to maintain control. Down to the 42, second down. Well, they certainly got dented with that first down run. So now they've got to be back on their heels a little bit as a defense. Second down at six now from the 42. And Richardson back to throw it. Over the middle complete. It's McKenzie. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. On the handoff, running left, Moss. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? Ball on the 30 now. Here's second down and eight. 
play action. Now Richardson. They'll roll him out right. All in all, no gain on the play, and it'll bring up third. Well, I can spin this negatively as he just got back to the line of scrimmage, but when you really analyze it, he took away a big play for the defense, made it an uneventful run because he avoided a sack and didn't lose yardage. The Colts on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and eight. Richardson shotgun on third down. Dancing to his left. And this defense rallies, and they stop him short of the first down right near the 24. Decent gain on the scramble is six, but now it's four. That looked great when he first took off because, in my mind, there was room to run, and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly, and neither did he. They got to him just in time, and now that forced him to make a decision with his fourth down call. Gay's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, they already had the early lead, and they get the interception, Charles, and now they add three more with the field goal. Yeah, they're in control of how this game is playing out so far. You mentioned the early lead. Now they're expanding on it, getting plays on both sides of the ball. A winning recipe if they can keep this up. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Ravens offense getting set and ready for this next drive. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. He's got a man complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A big pickup of 38. Well, as my dad would say sometimes, I'm just scratching my head here trying to figure out what was going on there defensively. How did you lose him in the middle of the field? If you're going to lose a receiver, make sure it's someone on the short side of things, not deep downfield, that can hurt your defense. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. He'll keep it himself. And a short gain down to about the 33. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. On second down, Hill down to the 30 after a gain of three. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Now Huntley. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts' 20-yard line. Give him 10 yards on that one, and that earns him a fresh set of downs. And that's well executed there on third down, and I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw, and they hooked up there for a first down. And the Ravens are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taken them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. And they'll get him down just shy of the goal line at about the one. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. Up 
Huntley off of play action. They throws it on the move, but can't connect as that falls incomplete. Well, this defense is certainly organized and playing off of each other because the rush is providing pressure and the coverage is forcing incompletions and capitalizing on mistakes. When you get every level on defense hitting it once, you get first half scores just like this one. Edwards and Edwards trying to push forward but unsuccessful. They stop him short of the marker. No gain on the play, and what to do now on fourth and goal. Okay, CD, second quarter, look at their deficit and where they're at on the field. They're going for this, right? I think that they are because down at this point, they've just made that big move, ride the momentum wave while you can. I know people think, hey, you've got to get some points here. Hey, you're riding it big time. Go get it done. Tucker's kick is good. So a conservative decision there, but it does put him on the board. And I know the players hate it and the coaches hate it, but sometimes you just got to take the points when they're there. Sometimes a field goal is pretty darn good. now following the main field goal set to kick it away and he won't return this one he'll go down to a knee and they'll start at the 25 and now Indianapolis set to take the field and they split the uprights last time for three they've got the lead they're not going to play this conservative they're, they're not hoping for another field goal they're hoping for a touchdown I'm with you on that one I like where your head is I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right trying to sit on a lead and play that way that doesn't work too well for most teams run your offense yeah, run what you do best exactly put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way the best way to do it touchdowns and he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. Back to throw, here's Richardson. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant and it's intercepted. Picked up by Adafi Owe. And he'll return it to the 24-yard line. They've got a pretty comfortable lead right now, but maybe a little too careless with the football that time for the rookie. I think the key word there is comfortable. And there's two schools of thought on it. With that type of a lead, maybe you can take a few more chances because you have a cushion. Others will tell you, don't eat up the cushion with careless play. He'll learn to ride that line as he moves on in his career. First and ten, Huntley. And this is going to be pulled in by the tight end Andrews. And in for the Ravens touchdown. Mark Andrews, a 24-yard touchdown. And the Ravens are back within a score. Well, we know someone just added to his touchdown passing total, but all he did was get the ball out quickly to his tight end and let him take care of business the rest of the way. Justin Tucker for the extra point. And it's up through the goal post. It's 17-10. Well, they got the ball in great field position. One play later, boom, end zone. touchdown and he won't return this one he'll go down to a knee and they'll start at the 25 the Colts offensive unit ready to see what they can do here 
And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, some guys, you know, they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit. And that's caught at the 25. A big play there for Andy. And even 50 yards. There's the arm strength that we saw in college and during the scouting process. And really, it's not just the arm strength there, but the placement as well. To me, that was an excellent combination of arm talent and accuracy. Exactly 50 yards on that last play as they just go from 125 to the other for first and 10. Now Richardson. That'll be caught over the middle by Moss. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. 19 yards on the pick up there, and now they'll have it first and goal. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago, followed it up with another nice one here, and before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Richardson looking to throw. Got a man. It's Pittman, and he holds it in for the Colts' touchdown. It's a six-yard touchdown pass, and the Colts will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. So on this drive, the rookie leads him into the end zone, Charles, and that helps cancel out the points that were created on the previous drive when he threw the interception. Yeah, let's give some credit to this rookie because instead of hanging his head after his mistake leads to a touchdown, he comes back out and he's firing and made up for it right there. A well-executed series that helps reestablish some confidence in him to run this offense. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Raven offense going to take over late in this first half. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. Throwing on first and 10, Huntley. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all, and I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. Now a second and 10. Out of the gun, Huntley. It got his man complete. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. Here's Huntley. And this is caught inside the five. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime.
Well, this is first and goal and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. They'll run here with Edwards. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Ravens going to use their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. So they've been in the red zone three times and it's yielded just three points. Can they find the end zone here on second and goal? Throwing there, but this pass is gonna wind up incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Looking to throw here, Huntley. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. And how about the coverage here in the end zone? That's how you frustrate a quarterback. You get pressure on, and you take away all of his receivers, and he's got to throw it away on third and goal. So they won't get a touchdown, but here's a chance to at least get three to end the first half. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. Tucker's kick is good. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. Seconds, all that remain here this first half as the kick gets away. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. So we have reached halftime here in an 11 point contest. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. We were certainly treated to an entertaining first half. Both these teams with some high points and maybe a couple of low points as well. So it's going to be a question of who can be the most disciplined team going forward. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. set to receive the football trailing here as we resume action in the third quarter Duvernay now going to bring it out and the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20 the Raven offense set to start this third quarter and they trail here to begin the second half what's going to be a key for them to get back in the game I think they're right there, and I think this game is still up for the taking for them because we always talk about turnovers. They had two of them in the first half, and once you start talking about if you have three, four, or five, you know it's beyond difficult to try and win a football game with that. Those have to be eliminated. If they take care of the ball, they've still got a shot. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. 
I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. And they run with Edwards off the option. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. Well, this play sequence was really kind of called in reverse. Incomplete pass on first and 10. Nice run on second and 10 when probably everyone was expecting them to throw the football. Now, if you're the defense, what are they going to do on third down? You're a little off balance. Jackson looking to throw on third. That is caught. And he will have a Ravens first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot. So you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he is because he understands how to get open in key situations. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. So the completion gets him just a yard, and that'll bring up second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. The linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. And they run the option on second down. The quick feet by Jackson. And he will finally be taken down, but not before he gets it to the Colts' 37-yard line. A big-time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. What a run there. I mean, you've got speed, elusiveness, escapability, all rolled into one. And we all know that quarterbacks are coached. They get the ball to the guys who can do all the things you just described. You want those guys who have speed, elusiveness, and escapability all rolled into one with the ball in their hands. And guess what? It's him. So there's no sense in throwing it or handing it off when you can do all of that yourself. And he is going to lose yardage here. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Boy, the pursuit there, terrific from the linebacking core. Oh, it certainly was because so many times on an option play, you'll see a linebacker make a beeline for the quarterback and then zip. One cut, and he's grasping at air. But this time, he locked in on him the whole way, took an excellent angle, and his grasp came up with the quarterback. The second down play results in a loss of two yards. Couple of plays sent him the wrong way, and now they face a third and 14. Here's Jackson to throw. He'll get this to Flowers, left side. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? Guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. This is where the NFL is headed year by year, partner. A league where just about everyone has someone under center who can get you with their legs as well as their arm. And we've certainly had a nice display of that for both QBs in this game. And that continued with that first down run. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Jackson going to give this one to Edwards. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of two there, second down. This is a critical sequence here for this offense. Things really haven't gone their way so far. This could be their chance to get back into it, but they've got to find a way to punch this ball in. It's second and goal, back to the eight-yard line now. Throwing is Jackson. That is caught. It's Bateman for a Raven touchdown. Eight yards on the touchdown pass. And the Ravens have got it back to within a score. They went five wide in that offensive.
defensive set. And race it going three wide is a big deal. To go five, how about the way that they finish things off? <laughs> Did you just fit a race car reference into the game? Zoom, zoom. How about the way that you play? When you go five wide, that means you're going fast now. Zoom, zoom indeed. Jackson here, he's going to look to throw. Flush to his right. And he'll get in for the two points. And that'll cut the deficit down to just a field goal. I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call. And he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion. And now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. Here's the Colts now as they get ready for their first possession on offense of the second half. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now a one-score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise, that could overrun your team. You've got to be careful right here. Richardson to throw off play action. A short throw. This is caught by Cox. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that'll make it second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here, and what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Second down and three. They'll give this to Moss running right. There he goes, right side. A solid stiff arm. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. The 71 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. They had a chance to limit his yardage, but he was able to fight off that tackle. So it's not just the responsibility of the guys who missed the tackles along the way. It's all 11 on defense, able to stop this guy, unable to do it on that play. They've got to find a way. How about his ability to break through and gain that yardage? And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Here's Richardson to throw. His throw incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. Third down, here's a run by Moss. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot of it's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Running game working. They'll stick with it on foot. Now Moss hit, and the football pops free. Wow. That ball gets knocked free but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. A give running right, Moss. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Well, praise has to go to the guys on the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so? Because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game. 
On third down, here's Richardson. And that nearly the pick that they needed. He couldn't pull it in, though, and it's fourth down. I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. And Gay knocks this one through, and that will double their lead as it's up to six. So three points, a uh, response there to that opening touchdown of this third quarter. And that's an important three, both in terms of adding to your lead, but also letting the other guys know you're not going to just come out in the second half and take over. The Colts kicking team is out there now, and they will send this one away. And able to get this out to the 25. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. And that last drive, it was all about the ground game, ground and pound. And I don't care how we're playing the game these days. Offensive linemen still want to fire out and smack the guy opposite them and move the football on the ground. They feel better about that. That's what they want to do. That's how they want to play, and that's how they got it done. Yeah, they got it for a touchdown last drive. Let's see what happens here. They'll start by running the option to the right. The quick feet by Jackson. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. An ideal beginning of the drive there as they'll get 20 at a first down. Well, partner, for a few years there, we thought this read option play was going to take over the whole NFL. It seemed like everyone was using it. But it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons, mainly because people are worried about their quarterbacks getting hit. But when you call it at the right time and you use it properly, you see the type of gains you can get. A nice chunk of yardage there by the quarterback. And he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. On second down, it's Hill. And he'll be brought down at the 45 yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Well, you know they had a third down play on standby just in case, but he says no need with that carry. Runs like that will continually earn him more work in this and future contests. To the right side, this is Edwards. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. They did a really nice job there defensively. They strung the play out, didn't give them a cutback lane. On each play, you have guys what I call our BCR players. Guys are responsible for the bootleg, for the cutback, and for the reverse. They played that one perfectly. And rode him right out of bounds. Throw caught by Flowers. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third and one, Jackson. That's out to Hill, right side complete. So he'll be stopped here for no gain. And it'll be fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. They'll run for it. It's Edwards. And they are going to stop him on fourth and one as they'll wind up going backwards. John Harbaugh not afraid to go for it this time. Doesn't work out. And the Colts are going to take over with a football. 
partner, when you see a running play stop short like that, you just know that the defensive front, they won the battle of leverage and created the push back into the opposing backfield. And for the offensive coordinator, whether you had one yard to go or 20 yards to go on fourth down, now you're probably saying, oh, maybe I should have passed it, right? Yeah, hindsight is always 20-20. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game. First and 10 here. And Richardson back to throw it. Hits his target, the tight end, Mo Alley Cox. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus, and indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Come on, no, they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. First hit. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. Richardson. He'll swing this out to Moss. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34 yard line. Call it a gain of 12, but of course not a first down due to the previous penalty. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way, and really we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. Moss on the give up the middle. And he will maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. And that's also all for this third quarter of play. We have played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Baltimore. It's the Colts. They've got control of the football. They also have the lead as we start the fourth. The Colts on third down. Lacking much success. Just two for seven to this point. This time it's third and three. Richardson on third and short. Here's Moss with a catch out of the backfield. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 24-yard line. Another good reception there. The Colts on the march. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. Handoff to Moss on the option. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. On second down, it's Moss again. They stopped after only a yard, taking it down to the 14. Well, with the fumble he had earlier, we, we know how key keeping the football is here. That fumble earlier probably at the forefront of his mind. Just hold on to this thing. It's also at the forefront of the mind of the guys who are trying to get the ball from him. And since they've seen him drop it on the ground before, they're doing everything possible to have him do it again. They need that turnover. And he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. I think there's a fatigue factor that's kicking in defensively. You know the will is still strong, but I think the offense is starting to bend it just a little bit, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. It's looked that way. We'll see if they can continue this already strong drive. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. They'll go again here with Moss. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. He's already fumbled once in this game, and I thought the ball started to jostle there a little bit, but they got to him quickly at the line of scrimmage. They sure did, and remember, if you're not a very confident runner and you've already dropped it once, if there's traffic around you, 
the only thing you think about is protecting the football, not gaining yards. Over the middle, hauled in by Pierce. So the completion good for seven there. And it makes it third down and two yards to go. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to make it a two-score game. Gay's kick is good, and that will make this a nine-point lead. So that CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. And now here come the Ravens. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 22. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And this is going to be hauled in by the tight end Andrews. Look at the big fella go. And he'll finally be taken down at the two-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. 76 yards. Oh, big time credit. What a play design there. They wanted to get him loose in the open field, and they succeeded. He had all sorts of room to operate in, and they finally track him down inside the five-yard line. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. They'll look to run with Edwards. And he powers through the first wave, but he's going to be swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. With his size, it often takes more than one guy to get him down, but if you can at least slow him up and the reinforcements arrive, you have a chance to get him on the ground, and that they did, that time for a loss. From back at the four, here's second and goal. They'll bring a tight end in motion. Now they'll bring one of their tight ends in motion right. Keeps himself upright. All in all, no gain on the play, and it'll bring up third. And this is a rarity in the NFL, a 100-yard game on the ground for a quarterback. Even as those passers get more athletic and mobile, we only see about five of these a season. It takes a special set of circumstances for it to happen, and of course, a special player. Third and goal, and keep in mind, very possibly four down territory. Here's Jackson. And he's gonna go down, just outside of the five, right around the six yard line. Quiddy Pay getting in there and burying him behind the line. Pay still managed to improve upon his rookie year with six sacks despite playing in only 12 games. Let's get this guy out there for a full 17. I'm pretty sure he can deliver well more than that. A 23 yard attempt. Tucker's kick is good. Well, I don't know if they would have gone for it on fourth and goal anyway, but the sack on third down pretty much made their mind up for them. You're exactly right about that. And this is a tough place on the field to take a sack because, as you just noted, it took the decision making away from them. Now they have to go for a field goal instead of potentially going for it.
Tucker now following the main field goal set to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. Zach Moss heading out to lead this offense. Responsible for well over 100 yards of total offense, but still hasn't found the end zone. You think that's in the back of his mind going into this drive? It's always in the back of the mind of a player having that type of a day because you want that gratification for your work, right? You want that stamp on top of everything. But bottom line for him, he's doing great work. Sometimes it just opens it up for other people to actually get into the end zone for him. The runners you know, would they rather have 60 yards, three touchdowns, or 150 no touchdowns? I think more than likely 150 and no touchdowns, but all the runners that I know would say, I'll take 150 and three touchdowns. They're greedy that way. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. It's getting cold in here, partner, because it looks like he's trying to ice this one away. Yeah, I know. Bad dad joke, but what the heck, right? Scrambling for that first after the deep blanket his receivers, that's a backbreaker for the defense. They finish this drive off with six, and this one could be over. And he's able to motor his way down to the 16-yard line. 152 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. Late in the game, he's certainly doing everything in his power to buy time for his guys to make a play. But in this case, he's surrounded, and all he has room to do is to get back to the line of scrimmage. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. On the option left, Richardson. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. He'll get five out of the keeper, but now it's third down. Oh, man, that wasn't far from breaking in a big way into the secondary. Read option, quarterback kept it. And while he didn't get a first down, he did get a nice chunk of yardage. Only a nice tackle prevented it from maybe going all the way. Now it's Richardson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And the Colts are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. Now Richardson. Touchdown! Mo Alley Cox from three yards out. And the Colts will add to their fourth quarter lead. They have to love seeing that from their young quarterback here in the fourth quarter, able to further that lead with a touchdown pass. He didn't go turtle, did he? And you know what I mean by that. I had an old coach used to say all the time, hey, when we have a lead late, don't just tuck in and try and ride it out. Go out and play and extend the lead. And that's what he did. Richardson will throw for it. And this one incomplete. So they went for the two. They don't get it. Tough there. Good pass. Hit the hands. He just couldn't bring it in. And every receiver's coach everywhere seeing that play. Focus, focus, focus. Watch it all the way in and tuck it away. Rick Alberto. 
Sanchez now. He'll kick it away following the touchdown. Unable to corral him. He fights through. And he returns this to the 22. And Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 22. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He finds Bateman over the middle. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. At this stage, this drive's got to be touchdown or bust because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them and give you a big play now. With a sense of urgency. No doubt. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Jackson looking to throw on third. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free, and it brings up fourth down. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started, and that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty, and before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. On fourth down, they'll try and run for it. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. All three timeouts remain, but they've got to score quick. It's first and 10. Throwing, Jackson. And Jackson cannot get away, and he'll go down. Samson Abuka in there to drop him as that clock continues to run. So if we recount real quick, he had the touchdown earlier, and now he comes up with the sack here. No doubt about it, he's having himself a game. Here's second down. Here's Jackson. That is caught. Bateman on the move past the 40. Now he's loose down the left sideline. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Rashad Bateman with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Ravens have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Tucker now for the extra point. And this is back to a five-point game. So the drive there took six plays. And it's Rashad Bateman who finished it all off with a touchdown. on defense all hope is not lost the Colts set to take over here offensively well they can smell victory partner they can see it on the horizon but certainly we're not done yet here defense still has three timeouts and obviously this is a very slim lead they're holding on to and let's face it the easiest way to get this done challenge your ground game challenge your offensive line your tight ends your receivers anyone who's going to lay down a block don't let there be penetration because they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and maybe bring extra people to the ball. If you can do that, make them burn their timeouts, run out the clock, life will be good. But if you really want to gamble a little bit, 
a quick play action, quick throw, might be able to get it done. Just make sure it's not incomplete and stop the clock. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. Another run on second down, trying to cover up. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here comes third and about a foot. They'll try and run for this with Moss. Ravens going to use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to put him a touchdown and a two-point conversion up. And Gay knocks this one through, and that'll push the lead up to eight. But from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Jackson and the Ravens, here they come. Down by eight, 65 seconds remaining. They need a touchdown and, of course, the two-point conversion as well. Jackson. Oh, what a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Brandon's okay with what they're doing right now. Still able to work the middle of the field, but you know sooner or later, they're going to have to stop the clock. Final minute. No timeouts at their disposal. Here's first and 10. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. But Charles, they're trying to protect this lead late. Those are the types of mistakes they could afford to go without. About the last thing you want to give them is help in completing a comeback, which is exactly what that penalty does. Jackson. To the right side, into the hands of Flowers. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. He has been terrific today, hasn't he? Yeah, absolutely. Running flawless two-minute drill right here. This has been quarterbacking 101 with a flourish. This is first and 10. Jackson to throw. Nowhere to turn this time, and he goes down. Sack back of the 29. Well, it came down to the final play. It's such a close ball game. What a game it was, but they can't get that last throw off. Good job by that defense to get in there for the sack to seal it. And for fans watching the game, a little bit anticlimactic, don't you think, partner? Not even able to get off one last throw to see how it would have turned out. Instead, pass rush got to him and ended it that way. 